started beating on my mother's pots and pans as a little boy in the home. Oh, my God. She always had to buy new pots and pans because I was beating them up pretty bad. Growing up in the Treme, I grew up around the corner from some of the greatest drums in the world, James Black and Smokey Johnson. I would go around the corner and listen to them practice. They would practice sometimes for three or four hours a day. So I had the opportunity to ask questions, and they showed me about different rudiments and things like that, you know what I'm saying? I found my way to Preservation Hall as a child through Mr. Allen Javis, the owner of the Preservation Hall. He happened to be riding his bike, him and his wife, Miss Sandra. They always used to ride their bikes in the Treme, and they had a two-seater bike. It was so cute. I was practicing one day in my living room, and he knocked on the door. So he invited me to come by to, to see the old musicians and learn from some of them. I was very fortunate and blessed to be able to come up around New Orleans' best traditional jazz musicians. And they told me years ago, this is music being passed on. This is why I don't mind teaching. Students come from all over the world, and drummers want to know how to play this music. And that makes me feel real good, you know what I'm saying? So today, me and Mr. Greg Stafford and people like Dr. Michael White, we're trying to keep the traditional music alive in New Orleans and let people know, you know, that this music is still alive and well. Wow!